Hey there, Tim Werner here, welcoming you to a brief lesson that I've called Delete a Recovery Services Vault in Microsoft Azure. The process for deleting an RS vault isn't as simple as you might initially think. What I'm going to show you are some gotchas that I've found through the annoying process of attempting to dispose of an RS vault. For review, recall that Recovery Services Vault in Microsoft Azure provides a cloud storage repository for your VM backups in a hybrid cloud scenario. Those virtual machines can be on-premises, they can be in other clouds, they can be in Azure. That's one side. The other thing that Recovery Services Vault does is handle failover replication. Anyway, by the end of this brief lesson, you'll understand how to disable the soft delete feature in your vault delete any dependencies that you find, and then ultimately get rid of the vault. I do want to say, I say annoyances, that it's kind of annoying to delete an RS vault. I know that the engineering teams at Microsoft put these features into the vault for very good reason. After all, in business, if you're sending your virtual machines into the vault for backups and archival and recovery or failover disaster recovery purposes, you want extra safeguards there to prevent deletion. I understand that. But that having been said, in a testing development proof of concept environment, you may need to create and dispose of RS vaults, and that's the purpose that I'm showing you here. Let's get into the demo. Here we are in the Azure portal, and we're going to start by dialing up our recovery services vaults, of which in my subscription I have two. And let's say for the sake of conversation, we're finished with our testing, or maybe we've moved the backup items from one vault to another, and now we want to dispose of the original vault. Whatever the case may be, we're going to get rid of Instructor Vault 1. If, for instance, we decide to go the easy way and go directly on the overview blade to delete, we'll be prompted for confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete this vault? We'll click yes, and then if we open the notification blade, it looks promising. It looks like that our delete operation is proceeding apace. However, we see before too long that the vault cannot be deleted as there are existing resources. Particularly, I have backups for a VM called Server 1. Unregister all containers from the vault and then retry, and then there's an instruction link here that I'm going to copy and put into another tab just so we can see where it goes. It goes to an Azure Docs article called, appropriately enough, Delete an Azure Backup Recovery Services Vault. At the end of this tutorial, I'll give you a couple timw.info short links so you don't necessarily have to call up a long, uncomfortable URL. All right, so long story short is that Recovery Services Vault is a container resource, and we need to get rid of or dispose of all of its dependencies and contents. We scroll down to protected items. Our first order of business is to look under backup items and replicated items and see what's there. Recall that the Recovery Services Vault can protect far more than Azure Virtual Machines, so you may have quite a bit of work to do going into each of these backup management types and deleting the backup items. In my simple case here, I have backups for an Azure Virtual Machine. And to point, let me click in there, it looks like I just have one for this server called Server 1. What do we need to do? We need to stop backup on this virtual machine. This is a common question that comes up in the AZ-103 Azure Administrator Certification Exam, by the way. From the menu, we're going to choose Stop Backup. And we'll make sure that in the Stop Backup Blade, we select Delete Backup Data, and we're asked to type the name of the backup item for confirmation. Optionally, we can provide a reason. Let me open the list and show you. Comments, and then click Stop Backup. Now, what that's going to do by default is mark this backup item for deletion, but it's not actually going to be deleted for 14 days. This is because of soft delete enabled by default for Recovery Services Vaults. And like I said at the opening of this tutorial, soft delete is a fantastic service. It's essentially a recycle bin such that if one of your colleagues were to inadvertently delete a backup item, you have 14 days to undelete that data. Let me refresh the view here. And we can see the icon at the front of this row here, this warning icon. And also, if we open the context menu, notice that we have the ability to undelete. All right? So if we could just wait the 14 days, and then Azure will, in fact, permanently delete any backup items that you've stopped backup for and you've deleted the backup data for. Let's step back and back up items. The other place to check is replicated items. This is going to be for virtual machines or environments that you've configured Azure Site Recovery for. Other artifacts to take a look at, 
specifically under backup in infrastructure. I've had problems in the past where I just couldn't delete the recovery services vault. And what it turned out is that I had a storage account registered in here and I don't. But if I did here, I would then be able to unregister that container. And you might need to do the same thing if you have on-premises, for instance, Azure backup servers or data protection manager, system center boxes, etc. on-premises. You see the general theme? We're going through bit by bit in our recovery services vault and deleting dependencies. Just to be safe, sometimes I'll go in if I have a recovery plan, I'll nuke that out. If I've created a custom backup policy, I'll nuke that out just to be safe. You can open the context menu and choose delete here. And then ultimately it comes back to the overview page. We can attempt to delete the entire vault again. Now, of course, I understand that we can do all of this using the Azure command line interface and or Azure PowerShell. And it's certainly worth looking into for automation purposes. I'm just showing you the graphical here because we're doing a brief tutorial and I don't want to assume your prior level of experience with Azure. Once again, we get a vault deletion error. This is saying that recovery vaults cannot be deleted as there are backup items in soft deleted state. And then it gives you a link here to learn more about the soft delete feature. It tells us what the registered item is, etc. So let me dismiss everything to clear out our notification. And let me show you how to disable soft delete. Used to be, last time I did this, I had to do it using Azure PowerShell, but it looks like the switch is now in the portal. So what we're gonna do is call up the properties blade. Normally this is all read only information. It's a little bit non-standard. If we come down under security settings here in the backup section and click update, this is interesting, a yes, no, if you configured Azure multi-factor authentication, why do I find that kind of a non sequitur to have it appear here in the recovery services vault? Anyway, the property we're concerned with, of course, is soft delete for Azure virtual machines. Let me flip the switch there to disabled, and it says all future deletes will be immediate and will not have soft delete protection. This action will not impact items already in soft deleted state. So what we're going to want to do, let's first commit this change. We're going to need to undelete and then redelete the backup item. I know it's a little bit strange. I did this intentionally. Of course, we could have begun this procedure by temporarily or permanently turning off soft delete. I just wanted to go the longer way around for instructional purposes. Let's come back under backup items, Azure Virtual Machine, and let me undelete this backup item. Tells us we have 13 days left until permanent deletion. Undelete, refresh the view, take a little while to catch up. Let me open up here. Yep, it's gonna take a little while for it to catch up to me. Now that our backup item is undeleted, let's reopen the context menu, menu and select delete backup data. We'll confirm the name of the backup item and click delete. If we open the notification menu, Azure tells us that it's stopping backup for this server as well as deleting the backup data. Okay, it looks like that operation completed. Let me give the browser another refresh and sure enough, that backup item is now gone. Let's use the breadcrumb navigation to step back, come back to overview and delete. We're going to confirm that. And as always, we'll look at the notifications and we can see that the recovery services vault was in fact successfully deleted. As promised, I have a couple Azure Docs articles for you for review. One, the article on disabling soft delete in the recovery services vault. I created a short URL called timw.info forward slash dv1, David Victor 1. The main article in the Azure Docs for deleting the recovery services vault itself, I've placed at timw.info forward slash dv2. As always, thanks so much for joining me. You can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. All of my Microsoft Azure courses in the Pluralsight library are at timw.info forward slash ps. And my website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks again. Take good care.